go we can start uh this is uh, kevin bench or dr chess and uh, my grandson was kind enough to play a uh, chess game with me of course he did beat me soundly which we can go over uh, what do you have to say isaiah hi hi okay well you're rated 1170 and i'm down to 970. if i keep losing who knows you know it's like i'm in pursuit of the continuously lower elo it's so annoying but it is what it is. It's not it's not really annoying. It's not bad. All right, so let's see. You know what? I think that I can move this over here and get us more uh, more real estate on the game board here. Let's do that. There you go. People can see more that way. All right, cool. All right, so um, so you have the game up? Yeah. And you're doing game review? Yep. Great. So we don't have to share that board. We can, cause that'll make it easier. Okay. So I will just go advance one step. So I got my pawn up. I move one. You got your pawn up. Got my knight up. Now then, you make this move here, and this is part of the Karakhan, right? D five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I have a choice to either take or advance, and uh, so, and you have a choice to either take or advance. If I, you know, depending on what I do. So what, what's what's the recommended thing to do for white in this uh, scenario? I don't even. I don't know. No, no. All right. So we keep going. So I advance, and uh, not the best move, but not bad either, according to uh, Doctor Ch. I mean, uh, Chess.com. And so you come down there, and that means I can't. I wanted to take my pawn up or protect my pawn, but I realized that wasn't going to work. So then um, we do next. I did advance my pawn, and that was considered the best move. And I don't know. Uh, it, you know it worked okay. So you, you put your knight on. So now we have two pieces attacking that pawn at, at d4. What do you think about that? Uh, that that I just put my knight up there to attack d4. Yeah, yeah. Is that why you did that? Yeah, that's pretty standard for the power con too. Okay, all right. So I put my uh, bishop up there, and that is an inaccuracy. You missed an opportunity to capture a free pawn. It says, right. I could have just taken that pawn, but then you would have taken my pawn. So I, I didn't like that very well, but. You know, maybe that, I mean, there's always something better. So you took that pawn, which was the best move. And so then I go ahead and take your pawn, and that's also a best move. And then you don't take it with your knight. So I went and I pinned your knight to the king. But I wasn't sure what to do with that. You know, I, I really wanted something yeah. to do with it. And, uh... I don't know. Any, any, what do you think? Uh, well, the computer thinks that you should have moved your queen up. I'm not oh, sure what that's right. about. Yeah. Just to get it into the board, into play. I guess. So you go there, which uh, this helps the queen develop the starting square. Good to get into the action. Although I didn't. I just kicked the bishop. That's what the database calls it. All right, so you move back there, and and um, the database wanted you to move back by your, you know, your queen. Wonder why. Uh, I think it's saying that because me moving my bishop like that, uh, actually it doesn't like you playing b4. So I don't know. Okay. So then I threatened your bishop, and that was an inaccuracy. You, you missed a chance to develop your queen off the starting square. Oh, so, uh, because G4 is, or G7, sorry, is undefended. Oh, look at that. Okay. Could have gone for an undefended pawn. It's really good to have attack two or three things at once. Then you get there, which is really good. Offers to exchange pieces of equal value. So I took your knight. 
We just messed up your pawn structure a little bit. And then I put my knight up, so if you take my bishop, I can uh, respond with my knight or the queen, whichever one I want to do. And I just didn't notice that that square is undefended. I just I just didn't notice that. Oh, look, I've got this board off. How frustrating. Let me fix my, my display here. Sometimes I don't get um, the display exactly like it should be. There we go. All right. Sorry, viewers. All right. So for a while, we didn't have uh, all the whole board displayed there. Anyway, so um, um, that's a pawn still undefended. And so I moved my knight up. And then you moved your knight up. That's considered excellent. And then uh, they wanted you to move your bishop up. Why do you think that is? Where at? Uh um, they want you to move your bishop to uh, a6. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, I think I do that later because it has a, a lot of sight right there and it goes down and you have to move your rook. Okay. I think I do that later. All right, cool. So I castle. Considered good. Now your opponent can't stop you from winning a pawn if you make the right moves. Well, fiddlesticks, I wonder what the right moves are. <laughs> okay, so you moved your knight, and he didn't like that. Yeah, this overlooks an opportunity to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a rook. Right, because you do go and threaten my rook in a minute. And I move this pawn up. I moved that pawn up to uh, protect that square there, and maybe that's a weakness on my part. I don't know. Maybe I just shouldn't do that all the time because it had a chance to play something better, and it wanted me to play either my knight to a4 or my pawn to a4. And I can see how that would have been a great move. Yeah. You castle, then that's good. All right, this is a mistake, it says. It, this move hurts your chances. Wowee. So you took. This forces your opponent to isolate your pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. I take, and that's best. I take back. So I liked it that I had this entire corridor open. I, but I think you took charge of it. But I, 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 of course, I wanted to take charge of it. But it is what it is. <laughs> so you go there. Oh yeah, I had to move my rook. Let's develop some peace while also wanting a tempo on a rook. I had to move my rook. That's best. Move to a safer square. And it wanted you to move down and threaten. It wanted you to move your queen down to a five. But it also says it was excellent because the rooks can see each other now. So I move my queen up. Nice defensive move, supporting a vulnerable pawn. Oh right, because your queen moved up and it could put it it could take my pawn. Yeah, that's why I put it there. Yeah. I thought about putting my knight on a four. But then you could have threatened my knight on a four, and then when I got my knight out of the way, then you could have taken that pawn. I didn't like that. So that was uh, tough for me to figure out. Then you take charge of that corridor. Yeah, take charge of an open file. Activate a rook. Whoops, I don't know what I clicked on. All right, there we go. And so I move my knight down. It's move okay, but not what I would have played. Um, I'm not sure why I played that now. I had a reason. Oh, I know. I was going to play this next to... Uh, um, B4, and then if I did that, then I would be able to threaten your bishop and your pawn. And if I did that, I'd be able to uh, fork your queen and your rook. Did I do that? That was my hope. Yeah, you did. So you go there. So now I can't decide what to do. So I do go there. Yep. I was playing too fast. Well, I completely missed it. 
That's what the that's what the clock does. Yeah. Then you take something. What did you take? Oh, you didn't take. You just went there. You went to that spot. Allows opponent to win material through a fork. Yeah, so the database knows what's going on. That's, you know, insane. So there we go. I fork the uh, queen and the rook. But it didn't matter in the end. You still won. <laughs> okay. So you go here, and I'm a little worried about here. So I take the rook, take, oh yeah, I go here, okay, you attack a queen, that winning a tempo, it's a good move. So you move out of the way, oh yeah, I should have gone there, yeah, it says I should have moved my rook to uh, e1, but I had in mind going up here and causing a lot of trouble on the king's row because you only had your queen up there i was going to move my rook up then yeah. move my other rook up and then i would have been able to control that row and then i could have gone and done stuff maybe yeah the seventh rank and the second rank are huge vulnerabilities yeah, later very, in the game very much so all right so you take that pawn and then i realize you have two things on the pawn you got your queen and your knight there's nothing i can do how annoying is that? That's why I wanted you to move your rook back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, the database saw what was going to happen. If I'd had my rook there, then then I could have taken that pawn. Or you might not have even taken the pawn. That's I a good move. So. That's considered a best move. So I moved my queen over there. And I kind of got my eye on this pawn because it's free. And I don't know what else I had. Of course, I just wanted to do something, you know, over here with the king. Have a little checking fun. So you move there, and that's considered a, a mistake. Oh, right, and you defend that pawn. Yeah, I see. So I move here. You permitted the opponent to eventually win material. Yes, I sure did. So then you go for my knight. And then I go there, which is their best. Any points about the game at this point? Mm. Well, just that you're up two points of material, but the game is... Uh, but you only have a 0 0.7 advantage, so it's relatively equal. Oh, yeah, I think that's easy. funny. How can you see the 0 0.7 advantage? Uh, I have the evaluation switched on. Oh. Okay, cool. All right, so this mistake, the server looks an opportunity to win material. It says you should have gone to E5. So then, I move my queen over to um, to B. I mean H four. I mean, all you had to do is move your pawn up, and then I had to do something, which I did. But it allowed my knight to be dot, you know, dead. Move your pawn up. A great I couldn't believe that I forgot I could take your knight. That was ridiculous. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, um, so then I go up to uh, the seventh row, and it recommended that I take um, a pawn. It recommended I take the pawn on e. Four. And, you know, that would have been pretty good because I could have got my rook up there and I could have threatened, I could have threatened three things. I could have threatened the pawn at e6. I could have threatened the bishop at c4, although I would have traded a bishop for a rook. And I could have threatened the knight at f4. 
Four, that would have been a really good move. Yeah, I didn't see it. All right, so then uh, you move your pawn down. That's considered a, a, an error. That enables me to take that pawn and threaten your queen. And get my knight out of danger. So you go there. So what I hmm. So I don't remember what I did. Well, I took your knight. It's a great move. There's only one good move, and you found it. You captured a knight that checked your king. So I don't know why you didn't take my rook. Because I didn't want to lose my queen. I realized right. that your knight was attacking my queen. You no, know, I saw that move. I saw that move uh, when I did it, but I didn't see it just now. That I'm going to go back. So when I put my knight threatening your queen, and then you uh, put your you put me in check. I, that's right. You weren't going to take my rook because you would have lost your queen. That's exactly right. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so then I had to move my. Did I move my rook in front of your? Why would I do that? So we're here, and I sacrificed my rook for why hmm. no clue if I had moved it wanted me to move my queen to e7 that would have been a good move I don't know why I did that I put you in check again Then you move there. There's no way I can put you in check again. So I move my rook out of the way. Yeah, it's a good time for you to get out of trouble. <laughs> yep. Okay, so you move your pawn up. That's good. So then I think, and I move my queen. This is a mistake. You missed an opportunity to eventually win a pawn. Well. So you go there, and I think, oh, crud, i got problems. So I took your pawn. It's a great move. Past pawns can be a resource because they're path to promotion. So I put you in check. And then you move there. And then I fork your... Wow. You missed an opportunity to eventually win a queen, it says. How did I do that? I don't see how I could have won the queen. I guess I have a long way to go. Do you see it? Um, so I, I, was I don't. Here, but and it said I had an opportunity to win a queen. Well, apparently the computer says that my best move, after you move your rook up to e3, my best move would just be to take the knight with the queen. Yeah. I guess the computer um, is finding something bad after you check my king with the knight after you've moved the rook up. So I could have moved my knight to another spot. I could have moved my knight to g5, and then you would have had to move your rook up or your queen up to protect from checkmate. But you know that wouldn't have been that big a deal, I don't think. Anyway, it was a fun, it was a fun game. 
Okay, you take my, my knight. I take your rook. Now, this is the start of the end game, and you're winning. But look at this. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. So now we've got a problem. <coughs> Man, I looked at both when I when I took your pawn. I looked at just pushing mine and ignoring yours, but I didn't like it. Because so because I took your pawn, I opened up my queen to be able to get down there. Yeah, and it just well, felt like I had more like a space to move. More opportunities. Yeah. Well, so So then I go there, you overlooked the opportunity to win a queen through fork. So what what they wanted me to do was uh, move my rook up to uh, e5, I think. Oh, I know why that was why I wasn't supposed to take the pawn. Wow. So if I had taken, but then if I had taken the um, pawn. Oh, I still don't know what, what to do. You know, what I could have done is I could have put you in check at G5. And then I could move down right in front of that naughty pawn at uh, C1. Didn't see that at all. I never saw that. <laughs> it was a really complex board. There's so few pieces, but it's complex. That's insane. Okay, so I move my rook underneath your pawn. And that's a miss. I don't see how to win a queen through a fork. So then you put your... your um... So when you did that, here's what, here's what I thought you were going to do. I thought you were going to put your queen down on d1. And you would have forked my rook and my king. I would have had to take your queen with my bishop. You would have taken the, the with your pawn. And I would have been no bishop. And I would have been in check. And I, it would have been your new queen. That's what I thought you were going to do. Yeah, it's what the computer says I should do. But... So there's a better way to defend your pawn. Push past it. So I just start moving a pawn up. Come on, little pawn, save me. And so you go there. So, so go here. And then you go there. That's an inaccuracy. This loses a pawn, it says. Put you in check. Then I go here. And I had a better option, but it's not bad. So I do that. Then um, I take your queen. And you take my, my queen or whatever, yeah. All right, so then you're going to take my pawn. I go over there. That's, that's good job defending your pawn. I probably just should have worked on the pawn on, on A. I should. That's what I probably should have done. Just abandon everything else and go to A. Because you had one, two, three, four moves, five moves to get a queen. One, two, three, four. I had six moves. Shoot. I don't know what's best. I don't know. So you move your pawn up. Black is worse. was worse off, but now they're in, in a losing position. I don't know why. So it's excellent. You activate your king in the end game. That's excellent because, man, you you contain my king big time by doing that. There's nothing I could do. N definitely the right move. You go that way. I go over here. And then I make a decision. And you, it's a blunder. You're losing material. Yes, I know, but I thought I could go up there and... Uh, I didn't realize how close everything was. 
<laughs> it was close. Close, close, close. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right on target. Game basically over. I didn't even try to get in stalemate. I should have tried to get in stalemate. Well, with the pawns on the board, you couldn't. Oh, that's I did... right. That's right. Checkmate. That was a fun game, Isaiah. Thanks for playing. That was really fun. Yeah. What do you have to say to our uh, our channel? Not them. <laughs> okay. Well, channel, thanks for watching. I couldn't do this without you guys. It's incredible. And uh, it, it just um, the way I'm trying to get better is I'm playing uh, games on my uh, chess titans. And because, you know, at, at, at the level I'm at, you know, less than a thousand, um, I'm really not going to be able to do a lot of long, uh, tedious plans. I just, it's just not, not real good. But what I am trying to do is learn. I've been uh, watching some other people like Levy on Gotham Chess. Sh big shout out to Gotham Chess. Really good, uh, good channel. And so um, I've been seeing that you should always try to do something. Like if you're in a, in a problem, threaten something else or put, you know, put the king in check. Or whatever you might come out ahead which uh i kind of did that a little bit but uh didn't really capitalize on it as much as i should all right anything else isaiah nope all right then well i will say uh, we will see you later and uh i guess i should say i'll check you later have a great day bye bye